the dangers of terrorism are not simply the obvious ones, the death of innocents, mass killings, but the most, for me, pernicious danger of terrorism lies in its use of fear in order to divide people, particularly in societies and nations which are built upon the great value of pluralism and faith equality. Fear is the venom which is constantly being injected into societies with consequences which are creating upheavals across the world. Make no mistake of it. Make no mistake about it. This upheaval is going on, it is finding effect in areas and in nations which thought that they had conquered these problems or risen above these problems. But subliminal fears are now creating new realities which are indeed adding to the challenge of our own abilities and how to deal with these new realities. And here too, I imagine, not imagine, I am sure that the role of think tanks is going to be critical in finding the solutions. The very last thing we can do is to take this problem uh, or to treat this problem complacently. Complacence is absolutely and truly the biggest danger that I see. And this complacence finds an, an almost a complete artificial dictionary of rationalizations. This is an existential conflict, an existential conflict not, not in terms that humanity will not exist, but that plurality will not exist that the values around which we have created and are trying to create the 21st century, they will not exist. And truly, the way we live is as important as living itself. We hope that this intellectual journey resolves there, there, is no, there cannot be any situation in which two nations do not have some differences. Of course there will be differences. But mature nations can take their, their problems to a decent space called a dialogue table. But I just have, if I may be bold enough to say, I just would like to end on one small note. Professor, my distinguished colleagues and friends. A mature friend, a mature friend is far, far more valuable than a hysterical partner. 